Hi everyone, we are looking at gametogenesis in plants today, um, specifically in flowering plants. So first of all, we'll look at the male gamete formation. So this takes place in the anthers of plants. And to start with, we have a diploid cell, uh, and we call this the diploid pollen mother cell. So this diploid cell divides by meiosis. So we have our first meiotic division, then our second. So we end up with four daughter cells at the end of meiosis, and they are, of course, all haploid. I'm just going to change this to make it easier to see what's going on. So I'm going to put these in here so these represent each dot represents the haploid nucleus that we have inside our cells. So these, each of these cells now divides, but it divides by mitosis. But the division is not complete. So the nucleus divides, so we end up with two haploid nuclei, but the cell does not cleave, so cytokinesis does not take place. So we have one cell with two haploid nuclei inside it, and that happens with each of these. These, then, one of these is the tube nucleus, and one of them is called the generative nucleus. And these cells will then just mature, so each of these cells becomes a pollen grain. So one pollen grain contains two haploid nucle nuclei, one of them is the tube nucleus, and one of them is the generative nucleus. Um, female gametes in flowering plants are formed slightly differently, but we start off again with a diploid mother cell, this time we call it the spore mother cell. And uh, again, this spore mother cell will divide, first of all, by meiosis. So we have our first meiotic division, and then we have our second meiotic division. Um, the difference here, though, is that out of these four daughter cells that we end up with, these four haploid daughter cells, three of them will degenerate. So it's only this one cell here which then continues um, on to become where we see our female gamete. So this cell here is haploid. I'm going to replace that with a little dot to represent the haploid nucleus. This is now known as the embryo sac. Now this embryo sac gets bigger and it also divides by mitosis. So we end up now with an embryo sac which is much larger and it has two haploid nuclei inside it. So this is still a haploid cell each of these is haploid. That's the first mitosis uh, or first mitotic division. We then get a second mitotic division, which means we end up with four haploid nuclei inside our embryo sac. And then we get one more, so we have our third mitotic division, which means we end up with eight haploid nuclei inside the sac. And three of them move to one end, and three of them move to the other end. And the two in the middle. These are called the polar nuclei. Those polar nuclei will then fuse together. Out of the nuclei at the ends, one of them, it's usually this one in the middle here, this nucleus here, this haploid nucleus, will become a female gamete. So this is the female gamete, this nucleus, inside the embryo sac. Fertilization, when that takes place, the male gamete from the pollen grain will fuse with the female gamete here. Remember that this embryo sac is inside the ovule. Okay, that's all. Thank you.